Hey, hey, internet! Swag here. The piston is a very useful component, but there's more you can do with it than just what's on the circuit board. Let's check out some builds from beginner to high intermediate and see the power of the piston. Let's get to it. When we look at a piston that can be found in our pellet, circuits, and then circuit components, we can operate its basic functions with a simple button. Connect the pressed output of the button to the play input of your piston, and the same with released and reverse. And now, when pressing the button, the piston will move forward at a specified speed in meters per second, until it hits its max distance. Wiring released to stop instead, we can move our piston as long as the button is pressed. If we get a second button, wire pressed to reverse and release to stop as well. Remember, you can have multiple executions going into a single input. We have now made our piston fully controllable. Let's copy this whole thing. Do it again. Flip it on the side. We can now wire one piston to the other. Remember to wire the body of one to the axle of the other. The wired axle applies its change in position to its wired components. The wired axle applies its change in position to its wired components, and the wired body moves along with whatever it is wired to. You can see this in effect if we wire the body to a make pen shape and move the shape around with our maker pen. Let's wire it to the axle of the past piston instead though, and then we can move it around like so. After we made it decorational of course, so it stops pressing our buttons for us. We don't have to play or reverse our piston, there's plenty of other chips that can affect its behavior, piston set distance being one of them. We wire these chips to the self output of our piston to tell the chip what component to enact its action on. If we fire it at zero when the piston is already at zero, nothing happens. If we set the value to one though, our piston sets its position to 1 meter forward from its default position. Pressing it again doesn't do a thing because it is already at 1. If we want it to increment though, we can also get the piston's distance. Get a second button and set distance chip and tell the piston with an add chip that we want the piston set to the distance it is already at plus 0.1. Now whenever we press our second button, the piston distance will increment by 0.1. And we can use button 1 to reset its position. The real fun of the set position comes from combining it with a 30Hz receiver. Let me show you how to set it up so that it doesn't gobble up all your networking or run a bunch of errors. We'll have two conditions before this will run. The first one is that the player who pressed the button is valid. If no player has yet to press the button, this value is null and therefore invalid. And if we would run anything involving this value, we'd be firing errors. Our second condition is if recroom object get is local player authority is true. I know that's quite a mouthful. This makes it so that it only runs for the player who is authority of the piston, instead of every player system trying to control the same piston at the same time. Now to animate our piston based on some real-time values, let's get player left and right hand position. This is why player is valid is important, because else there is no player value to get hand position from. 
Now we wire these hand positions into a distance chip. And when we press this button, player is valid and we close our circuit. Now our piston moves based on our hand movement. Since we're not using any circuit board's inputs or outputs, we can configure and delete all board content, and that will save us a bunch of chips. You can see now that without having any inputs or outputs or chips within inside the circuit board of our piston, it will still do exactly what we want to do, which is move based on the distance between our hands. And that is all. I hope you learned a thing or two. If you have, like and subscribe for more videos in the future. Sign up with the Creative Club in-game for cool creative events. But above all else, I hope you use your newfound knowledge wisely and to see you in the next one. Bye.